Hey people, how's it going? This is Impala 100 and we're back on our single player world here, right where we left off. Like, literally, right where we left off, that tree just grew. Oh my gosh. We have a fun episode in store here, and uh, I honestly don't know what I'm doing. We're just playing Minecraft though, and we're going to continue on where we left off. So we have uh, all the different crop types and uh, we have quite the large wheat field now. So what I'm thinking we should do here with the half day that we have left is maybe expand our farms just a bit and maybe get some torches down around here. And I think that's a good idea. So wheat is kind of in this area. I think around this bend here is where we could start adding the other crops. So we'll go ahead and do that. And what we could actually do... Oh, I guess we're eating fish now. Okay. Oh, and there goes our hoe. We're going to put our helmet back on. All right, we're back in here. Has anything changed? Yeah, we have lots of, uh, lots of stuff in our chest. It's organized very well right now. Okay, we're going ahead and making this hoe. And while we're here, might as well pull out these as well. And then maybe some more wheat seeds too. Looks like we're going to be farming up a ton of that. Almost two stacks of seeds. Wow. We're rich. I'm going to get rid. I know that this is farmland. I'm going to get rid of that. That was looking weird. Okay. So, yeah. We're going to place down some seeds. Expand this field a little bit. And do some more hoeing up there. Is that a word? I don't know. But we're going to do that. And hopefully it looks good. So that's how we're going to spend the rest of our day here. All right, so we expanded our sugarcane field here too. I forgot to mention that. Um, but yeah, at the same time, uh, we have plenty of seeds now that are planted. And I'll actually plant a few more up here. Yeah. Life is good right now. We have quite the uh, crop surplus that's going to be incoming soon after this first harvest. And I think eventually we'll take these crop fields that are irrigated by the river here and move it up here and have like permanent farming pens uh, we just don't have the iron for that yet so i think to end the night here what we're going to do is do a little bit more log chopping now and kind of get our thoughts together to what we want to accomplish in this episode because i literally just pressed record and wanted to start playing here oh look at those levels we're at level 10 now that's wonderful and almost a full stack of copper ingots and I believe if I make this into a copper block, aren't there like fancy blocks? Yeah, look at that. So copper grates, I can make those by putting four blocks. Oh, wow, that's expensive. Okay. Well, I guess, yeah, copper grates are... Okay, that's cool. And then it takes forever to mine it, but that's fine. I guess we only have a stone pickaxe right now. Okay. Well, those are copper grates there. I just, yeah, used up a ton of our copper. <laughs> but that's a potential building block that we could use at our disposal in the future, which is awesome. So and we're right next to a dripstone cave. So that's also great news there. Um, so I was supposed to do some log chopping and, and that didn't happen. But I think this is a good opportunity for us since we're a little bit more equipped with armor to kind of light up the area so we could be productive outside during the nights. And I just realized we're probably gonna have phantoms attack us. So uh, we'll have to be cautious when doing that. And now I have an excess amount of seeds here uh, over a stack and I'm trying to conserve space. So, I am going to go ahead and make ourselves a composter here, which we could do that by taking slabs just like so, and we could place this over in the corner. And now we could take our excess seeds, and we'll just take these 12 so far, and uh, throw it in here, and eventually we'll get some bone meal over time, which is nice. So, um, yeah, that's a useful tool to have right now. And as far as the excess wheat goes, what I'm going to do here is actually turn it into hay bales. I deconstructed hay bales and realized that was probably a mistake. So we are reconstructing them now. And we're looking pretty good when it comes to the farming department here. I'm going to place the, uh, what is it, the crop stuff that we grow on tilled land. 
in one slot or one row and then all the other stuff in the other like sapling farming and all that stuff which actually we should just grow that up i don't know why that's in a chest to begin with here and we're gonna make our first full stack of torches here to try to be productive during the night um, I kind of had some ideas while sitting here on, on what exactly I want to do. So uh, we already expanded the crop farms here. I think I want to create some permanent animal pens, which would be a fun little building project for us to work on. And uh, we'll get some cows, sheep, and then also pigs too. We could do that now. And uh, yeah, that'll be a fun thing for us to build here. Uh, then on top of that, I think we're going to have to get at least two pieces of iron so that we could shear some sheep. Uh, hopefully we could find two and I actually think I remember seeing a small iron vein in a cave back near the village So uh, I know where we could grab that later on. So that's what I'm thinking our objective should be here um, I'm gonna go ahead while well, it's still nighttime not placed on a torch. What am I looking for? Oh my gosh, this is absolute chaos. Okay. I was making another axe here. That's what I'm doing So I'm gonna go light up the outside now uh, chop down some trees and have a blast Look at this lit up area now this is a huge step for us and oh there's a spider perfect we might go spider hunting for a bit here and we're out of uh food on our hot bar okay and oh my gosh oh for two on spiders in this series for string unbelievable now i'm angry and i'm just gonna be reckless here that's probably not a good idea okay um, well, if we see any more spiders, we'll go after him. Um, but right now, what was I supposed to do? Oh, yeah. We're supposed to be chopping down logs. We're going to be productive. We chop down all of our trees. The sun is about to rise. I don't have a spider in sight here. But that's okay. Okay, we're just, we're just going to have to stop obsessing over the spider, I think, at this point. It's all good. Um, we have a ton of different saplings that still haven't grown yet, and we're starting to get quite the surplus. I'm going to try to get a more, um, what is it, a, a less discombobulated way of growing all the stuff up. So for now, I'm going to take down all the saplings I have here. Uh, we have over a stack of acacia logs, which is great. And uh, yeah, uh, we'll definitely uh, find a new and more permanent location to start farming up saplings in just a bit. But for now, we're keeping it as is here. Um, now that the sun's rising, what I want to do first and foremost, and it's great that we have wood, honestly, because we want to start building. I think I want to go try and get some iron uh, over at that cave there. I'm not going to go down far. I'm just trying to get two pieces of iron, or at least one vein, whatever the case may be, and then get the heck out of there. So I'm going to go do that now, and I believe our way over, or at least the quickest way over, is right through this pass here. And let's see, we'll be on spider watch, just in case we see any. Yeah, there's no spiders here. No worries. Okay. So now we just need to find some surface iron. Is there any here? There's surface coal. We'll get a few pieces, but iron is our agenda here. We're not going to do what we did last episode and be, uh, what is it, distracted the whole time. Holy cave. There's some pretty giant cave formations here, which is a, a good sign for sure. But I don't see any iron in those here, and I believe... The place where we saw iron is right underneath us right now. I'm pretty sure. Is this where we saw it? Is it more further up here? Nope, it's right here. It's literally next to the village. Okay, there's our iron. So we're going to go very quickly here. Place one torch. Just take a little peek. See what we're dealing with here. Okay, it's not a big cave. Look at that. Beautiful. We'll light this up for next time. Oh, and then it goes out on the other side. Okay, awesome. Well, this will be a fun one to explore. Uh, but we're here for the iron right up here. So let's see if there's more than one piece. If it's only one piece, uh, this, this is going to be an issue. Thank the Lord. Okay, so it was meant to be two pieces of iron, potentially four. Nope, just two pieces of iron it was meant to be. You know, sometimes the drama's all made up in our head here. 
And that was the perfect fit for what we needed. So we're going to go back now and um, what is it? We should start to frame out how we're going to build this animal shelter or the animal pens, whatever we want to call it. Oh, wow. I have not been up here. So I'm on top of our, I'm on top of our base right now or our little shelter. And there's some pretty impressive hills up here, which is cool. I'm thinking at some point I'm going to want to build our, our first home right on top of this hill where we've uh, kind of dug our way into. And I'm trying to think of what would make the most sense uh, to place our animal shelter at. So I'm thinking we're going to have more formal crop pens around here and maybe some sort of port or dock for us to enter and exit to access the ocean, I believe. I believe we saw the ocean that way, if I remember correctly. Um, and on top of that, there's a little valley that kind of goes up this way. And I was thinking maybe even placing a road going up this way, right in here, and we could make a mine at some point down in this natural cave, which we will light up once and get out. Oh, he's shooting at me. Oh, shooting at me. Okay. Yeah. So that one torch is going to help us spawn one less skeleton down there. Holy moly. Okay. So maybe not place something up too far. That, wow. More caves. We just have caves everywhere here. We might need to do something with those. AKA take their resources and light them up. Okay. So if we plan on making a mine either down there next to our skeleton friend or over here uh, there's going to be a road winding up this way i think a good idea is to maybe place something right along here right kind of wedged in near these two hills and there's plenty of dirt i'm sure we're going to have to get some terraforming going here which is not a problem we have stone for days and we can make endless stone tools but it'll take some time so i'm going to go ahead terraform the area a little bit and uh Get some inspiration to uh, get a blueprint going here. Okay, so I'm going to kind of teach you guys what I do whenever I'm mapping out a build here. So I use the path feature a lot to kind of mark corners of what I want to do. So I'm thinking I want four different pens. One for chickens. We're going to make a more permanent shelter for those guys there. One for chickens, one for pigs, one for cows, one for sheep. So just starting with the basic four mobs that have always been in this game forever. And uh, we could always add more pins in the future for other types of mobs. But this is what I'm focusing on right now. So I'm thinking our cow pen, I want it long and narrow to breed them up because it's going to be a lot. So maybe a two by six, three, four, five, six. And then kind of uh, do that on the corner like so. So this will be our cow pen. And then on top of that, we could have the sheep right next door. And that could just be four wide. I don't foresee us needing too much there. And then as far as the other animals go, I might need to dig into this just a bit. Um, pigs over here. Oh, no. We lost our shovel. Well, no worries. We have cobblestone and we have a crafting table on us. This is why you always have a crafting table in your offhand here or in your inventory. So we're going to dig this out just a bit. And then I think we're going to have uh, pigs and chickens on this side here. So uh, to make things easy, uh, chickens will go... How about this? Like so? Like that? Right? They only need to be one wide, to be quite honest. And then the pigs, we can have, we might actually have a go back one more right here, like so. So the pigs can have three wide, like that. Now that's good, um, but I also want to double door uh, in case any get out. So that's going to involve having another layer, like a little inlet pathway here as such and i might actually want to make that one more wide so we don't feel too crammed and then we're going to take this out so yeah this is kind of a pain when you have a stone shovel <laughs> 
But there we go. So we planned this logistically here. So this is our little uh, walkway inside here, right? So we take the animals in. Hey, uh, pigs, you go in here. Uh, chickens, you go in here. Uh, cows, you go in here. Sheep, you go in here. Wonderful. And then there's going to be fence gates on both ends. We'll put a roof on this thing. All that wonderful stuff. And so this will be a very functional and efficient uh, place here. Um, I need to do something real quick. Um, and it's nighttime, so it's going to be a night mission. I want to actually sleep. And I forgot to do something. So I want to go here. I want to place the iron in. There we go. And we're going to make shears and we're going to run to the nearest sheep and get some wool. Do I have any flowers that I could use to dye them a better color? That's all good. At this point, it doesn't matter. It's fine. Um, okay. And I believe there's just some sheep above us on that hill back there. Hopefully we don't die, but this will just add some flavor to the episode, I guess we could say. So... Okay, this iron should be cooked up by now. We're surviving off of apples. So we're at that point. We're going to have to do some uh, do some more fishing here in a second. Okay, so there we go. We're going to make ourselves shears. Perfect. And we're going to run and find ourselves a sheep. Come on, sheepies. Where are you? Okay, I see them up here. I don't know why I'm being quiet. Okay, so there's a gray one. They're different colors which is just going to make my life wonderful. Look at that. One light gray. Beautiful. Then we have three white. Okay, that's all we need. Okay, we're going back. And we could actually dye these red. We could get a classic red bed. Okay. And let's be cognizant for mob spawning. I'm going to do one last spider check, though. I have no self-control. <gasps> oh, no. Okay. Canceling, canceling the spider check. Well, that is a, uh, that's quite the shot. Okay. Oh, you son of a gun. You're going to pay for that. Okay. So when I mean they're going to pay for that, uh, I mean I'm going to sleep and they're going to burn up and it's going to be a wonderful time. Okay. We could actually put quite a bit of this wood back here. There we go. Okay. We'll deal with that later. We are going to make ourselves... A red bed, and we're gonna have our first sleep on this world. Oh my gosh, I can't believe we got our butt kicked by a phantom there. It is what it is. All right, we're sleeping, and uh, yeah, this is a very uh, monumental uh, part of the series here. Now we can sleep through the nights and we don't need to wait it out, which is great. So now our friends are burning. Have a wonderful time. Yeah, that's great. Is there three? Oh. I want to see if I could get a phantom membrane from this at least. I could have sworn there's three. Nope, nothing. Okay. Well, we tried. At least they died. So our rescue mission there was a success for the daytime. All right. Now I want to figure out how to build this thing and actually make it look good. So I'm going to do some, uh, some building here. Uh, less talking, more building. And uh, we'll see what we could come up with. Okay, so I was just able to sleep through some rain there. So here's an update on what we're doing. The reason why I'm pausing real quick is because I am completely out of food. So we're going to have to pause. And I think I'm just going to make some bread, to be quite honest. I was trying to hold off on that, but I'm going to do that for the sake of time here. Uh, but as you can see, uh, we have utilized quite a bit of acacia already. Um, and we're doing that to make all the fences here. And we also made some supports using the logs and we're using up quite a bit of stone as well. And we have also a lot of, uh, what is it? Dirt, uh, from doing the terraforming here. So I had a couple ideas 
First and foremost, this is a lot of stone. Uh, lots and lots of stone, and I'm thinking we can mix things up just a bit here. Um, here's my idea. So we don't have a shovel. Shovel, here we go. And I'm gonna go over to the riverbed. And I'm gonna take some sand. <laughs> I'm gonna do it in here. Okay. We're taking three. We're taking three pieces of sand and we're gonna smelt it to create what? You guys already know the answer to it. It's all good. We're gonna be making some mud blocks. Um, that's an idea I had, and we have an excess amount of wheat here, thanks to all these hay bales we have. And we could turn the mud blocks into mud bricks. And I'm thinking where we could add those here is right along the bottom. And you guys are probably asking, well, what do we do here then with these? We're going to move these one up and have a mud brick base. And I think it's going to look good. This is the, the whole beauty of Minecraft here, being able to play around with different combinations. So this is going to be up here if this makes sense. And then mud bricks beneath there. And then also while I'm here, I'm going to take back our cobblestone because I have a feeling we're going to need it for the roof. Because <laughs> we, we do not have resources galore here. So yeah, we're going to take this back. And I kind of placed it all around the edge too. That was a waste, but it's okay. If we actually need it, we'll, we'll scalp some cobblestone or we'll just go down into that cave there and mine some. It's no big deal. But we'll take back what we could get from the foundation. And uh, yeah, awesome. So I can walk you through real quick here. We could uh, skip ahead like 30 seconds and I could show you uh, my strategy to making mud. Okay, I think this is how I'm supposed to do it, right? No. I'm just an idiot. Okay, we can't do the offhand fanciness here. So we need to go like this, essentially. <laughs> I love how I said, hey guys, here's my super cool strategy to making mud, and then it's literally no strategy whatsoever. Here's the strategy that I use right here. And then you can start going really fast and having a great time. I typically like doing this over sand and not mud, so I don't make the uh, riverbed mud. Um, I just said mud. I don't do it over dirt because I don't want to turn the riverbed uh, into it, um, into mud. Yeah, there we go. Communication's a thing. <laughs> but yeah, pretty simple process right here. And then once I'm done with this mud, I could turn it into packed mud very simply. And as long as you have some sand and you have a source of wheat, it's pretty easy to make this thing. So again, wheat and mud, make that packed mud. You turn it into mud bricks, which actually I want to, I usually build with the mud bricks. I want to see how the packed mud would look with the concrete here, or sorry, with the cobblestone. I actually like this. Yeah, this looks great. Yep. Oh yeah, this is what this needed. It's another little splash of color to bring this all together because there's too stark of a contrast with the uh, cobblestone roof here. Okay, and this is gonna need some more terraforming, which again, is not a problem, so. All right, well, that was a little splash of color there. I'm gonna continue to work through this here and hopefully uh, it looks good by the end of this thing. <laughs> okay, I just turned the rest of our cobblestone into stairs by accident. That was not good. That was a stupid, stupid, stupid move. Oh my goodness. <laughs> And I'm building wrong here. Oh man, this is a, a bad performance by Impala 100 today. Well, I guess it's an excuse to go get our uh, the poop scared out of us again uh, in a cave, which is wonderful. There's always a new mob that's willing to greet us down there. All right, which mob is here to scare us this time? Are we good? There's no monsters down here? And we have... Okay, there's the monsters right down. Okay, this thing opens up a ton Okay, we're staying back here. They're all stuck behind the dripstone there. Okay, that's good. I thought I saw cobblestone for a second. Okay, this thing really opens up, so I think this will be a mine of ours, and I really like how there's little dripstone 
hanging around the place. So might as well kind of dig out a path down this way a little bit while we're getting some more cobblestone because we're going to need quite a bit of it. Okay, I think a stack will do. Oh, and it's nighttime. Goodness. Let's go sleep. Oh my gosh. No, get down. <laughs> my gosh. I, oh, so close to being a, a YouTube short right here. Come on, get over here. You stay away from our animal pen. We're working so hard to complete that thing. We're going into sketchy caves, mining that up, farming up just an ugly mess of acacia. Give us your gunpowder. Thank you so much. Any other creepy crawlies around here? No, we're good. Okay. I guess he spawned up here. Um, yeah, that was fun. Okay, back to building here. We're making some progress finally. So I decided to scratch an idea off the roof. It was looking a little too weird for an animal shelter. I'm looking for more of a lean-to type of shape. So all those cobblestone stairs that I made, yeah, they're a waste because I'm trying to do something like this. That's gonna look way better than what I was doing before with stairs going all the way up and no, it needs to flatten out at the very top. The edges, yes, keep them pointed, but everything else needs to be different here. All right, so I think we're done here for now. If you guys have ideas on how to improve this, let me know. I'm all ears because I know it's not perfect. There are some things that I think could be improved here, um, but for the most part, it's functional. That's what we're looking for, and it's... Uh, it's a pretty neat looking build. Again, we freelance this 100%. I'm going to try to do that for this series. And um, maybe we could add, I don't know. See, th there's benefits of going even further up, right? There's benefits of that. But at the flip side, it, it was looking a bit too weird, right? So I don't know. Um, we're going to leave it as is for now. I think it's, uh, it's functional. That's what we need it to be right now. We need to remember we could always come back to fix something up. Okay, two things I need to do right now. First things first, inventory management. It's a mess. And then the next thing I want to do is bring in some new friends to live in their new home. All right, so before we get some animals, I think I need to do a harvest. We have an entire wheat field here, and we also needed potatoes or carrots to get in, uh, what is it, pigs. So I'm going to go ahead, do a harvest here, and... Uh, have some satisfying uh, block breaking and crop replanting. I don't know. Some people like that stuff, so we're going to do it. I may or may not be one of those people. Wow, look at the harvest there. That's incredible. And uh, yeah, we have lots of crops, which is great. And again, we have a, just set up a wonderful foundation here. Now we're going to keep our livestock very happy. So without further ado, let's go on that adventure and not die to a creeper. Okay, so the first mission will be the chickens. This will be very simple because they are all right here. Which one's Mr. Muchacho? And which one's Mrs. Muchacho? Or Mrs. Muchacha? Yeah. And then who's Mooch? Who's little Mooch? You're all grown up. Uh, I guess they're all just going to be together now. It's all good. Maybe we'll find another one eventually. Or maybe we'll we'll just know which one's which, right? At some point. We'll, we'll make sure not to kill Mr. Muchacho in this pen. <laughs> but we're mainly wanting them for the eggs. Because we could actually make pumpkin pie now funny enough with everything in my inventory. So that's pretty awesome stuff. Okay, so the... Muchacho family is going to be going in first. So right up here. Need all three of you to get on in. Wonderful. I'm already seeing design flaws here. It's okay. Don't worry. Okay. We have one that's made it in. Oh, you laid an egg out here. That's wonderful. Okay. So design flaws. It's all good. It's all good. No, no, no. Oh, goodness gracious, this is bad. But we're making it work here. We're making it work. Boom. And we're going to have another little mooch here. Wonderful. Awesome. Okay, and we're going to be collecting eggs now. I want to be able to make pumpkin pie again. 
All I have to do is this. Pumpkin pie. Boom. Source of food. It's incredible. Okay. So we're going to start living off of pumpkin pie for a bit and get very fat here. Okay. Now that we have the chickens out, we need to find our next sort of livestock, which I'm thinking is going to be a cow, but whoever I see first is going to be the next target here. Oh, Mr. Pig. Okay. There's second pig here. Yes, there is. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's be friends. We just need two. We just need two. And luckily, these guys are fast, so it's a lot easier to get them in than others. Oh, we lost you. Come on. No, 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 no. Come back. There we go. They have attention spans like me. I can relate. <laughs> Come on. All right. And then we go right on in here. Both of them are in. Wonderful. And we'll make a little baby pig. Great. And so we're going to continue to farm these guys up and eventually we'll graduate from the pumpkin pies to, you know, eat pork or eat beef or any of the other livestock here. Okay. We have one cow and we just need one more. I think I lost that one. So we'll ignore it for now. There we go. Second cow and let's go on home. Okay. Cows, welcome home. Here's your new pen. Come on in. One at a time, please. Lordy. There you go. <laughs> and he ran right in here. Oh my gosh. There you go. Go have a kid. Wonderful. Oh my gosh. So adorable. The little cows. They make, they remind me of my dog. Um, yeah. That's sweet. Okay. One last animal type to go. Let's find some sheep. Here's the sheep. Okay, let's get you without getting more cows to come with us. I'd rather leave them be here. Okay. So we're going to make our way around all these cows up here, which I should have just gotten them from up here, but I guess that's okay. Too late now. And we'll make our way back slowly but surely. All right, come on in. The water's fine. There we go. Two sheep. Make of the babies. Oh my gosh, we have a full house here. This is just such a happy day. Look at that. And now we can close these gates. So in case they escape, they're not going to go too far. That's the whole point of having the double gates here. So not only is it functional, it also looks pretty nifty too. Um, I'd be lying to say if we haven't made the finishing touches here. But for now, this is functional and it's doing its job and it looks good enough. So we're going to take it. Wow. This was a, a lot of time here. We, we've spent a good chunk a good chunk of time here. And I guess before we finish the episode, I want to do one more round of uh, chopping some logs here just so we don't have uh, less resources than what we started out with, I guess. Oh, wow. Look at that. Seven oak saplings. That's going to save our life. <laughs> Not having to worry about chopping down and farming up acacia again, unless we really fall in love with the block because I've used it so much and it actually is a pretty good looking block. So I don't know what else to say. Sweet. Well, we've done enough today. I'd say that uh, we accomplished a lot. We have now a stable farming supply here. We have a bed. We have an animal shelter that's full of lovely critters here. Can we breed you guys up one more time? Oh my gosh, we can. Look at that. The family's growing here. And then we could take some more eggs. Oh, you got out. Son of a gun. I knew that would happen. Oh man, that's, that's little mooch. I can't do that to little mooch here. Okay, you're going to get back in. Yeah. Okay, we're getting back in, everybody. Big happy family time. There you go. Oh, no, no, no. You guys were going the wrong way. Come on. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> what is happening? Come on in. You need to come on in. Please. No, 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 no. No. Okay, there we go. Phew. My goodness. The muchacho family is just a bunch of crazies here. Okay, we're done. We're done. Let's get the heck off of this episode. Thank you guys so very much for supporting, tuning in, and watching the episode. 
if you made it this far, uh, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. I hope you guys are enjoying it. If you, in fact, are one of those people who enjoyed the episode, be sure to leave a like rain down below. It really does help out my channel. And if you hated it, but you still found yourself over here, leave a dislike and tell me why. This has been Impala 100. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. And hopefully I kill the spider and get some string. I got one. All right. Bye-bye.